This is Heavenly Bodies. Uh, all I've seen of this game so far is a trailer. Uh, it comes across as a bit of a quap like a game where uh, sort of the fun and the humor comes from how difficult your character is to control. So uh, that's all I know. So we're going to kind of get in and discover this together. I will select my save slot. I will. Ooh, local co-op. Good to know. Not what we're playing right now. And yes, I am using a gamepad. Classic is the default movement style. It's a fine combination of challenge and fun versus Newtonian is physically accurate for extra challenge and assisted. Okay, okay, let's go with classic right now, but I'm very curious about Newtonian, what that's like. Got some fun people in my chat today. Ranoth Gord, Stealthy Assassin, Zedric, Corndog, and Scott Lannon. Good to have you all along for the ride. So... Here we are at Cape Canaveral. Some really nice art. And I have been shot into space. Seems like the soundtrack might be a little aggressive. I'm going to pull it back just slightly. There we go. So I am an astronaut in relaxed T-pose. It says, welcome aboard. Crew-based operations may now commence. Move your left arm using L. Move your right arm using R. Grab with your left hand using LT. Grab with your right hand using RT. I don't see much to grab. Oh, there's a lever. So, grab the handle and turn the lever. Okay. Ah! Okay, so I've got... Okay, so I have to hold on to the bar on the right so I can pull the lever on the left. This is weirdly, like, totally reliable delivery service. Okay, but I've got to... Or This is actually a lot like frog climbers. So I can tuck my legs if I need to. Oh, so that I can spring off things. Okay, okay, so now I'm back here. No, stop. Okay, so I have to, like, grab onto stuff and then move my limbs in order to, like, springboard off things. So, like, oh, wait, this is a, a thing I can go around, I guess? No, 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 come back. Come back, you idiot. Ugh. I can't, it's hard to push off with your with your hands. Now, I do have... I do have some body control when floating midair. Like if I reach my hands in a direction, my body will rotate to try to move my hands in that direction. I'm betting that might be what goes away with Newtonian. I'm be ah, no. I'm betting that if you switch it to Newtonian, you probably can't do those same adjustments uh, midair. I'm betting you're kind of stuck with whatever rotation you got yourself into until you can grab something. Ooh, I've pushed a button. What does that do? I didn't mean to push that button. I was just bumping around. To bring power to a space station, solar cell systems make use of the only source of energy available in space itself, sunlight. With crew now aboard, the maintenance of these light harnessing systems can continue. You will need to configure internal power systems and reorient the external solar array. Okay. Upon completion, report back to mission control. Which is that lever, I guess? Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. I want to reach that thing. Uh, all right. Uh, what's this paper? What's this paper? I want, I want the paper. <laughs> Give me the paper. Okay. So I can grab onto any surface. That's important for me to, to know. Because I keep having the sense that I can only grab onto levers and, and like handles and things. But no, I can grip any surface. Sunlight. Restore operation to the space station solar array. Configure internal power systems. Find a way into the airlock. Unwind the folded solar panel. Okay. Oh, and I've got a diagram here. So step one, flip a lever. Step two, push a bunch of buttons. Step three, 
plug in a thingy. Okay, step two looks like kind of like playing a flute or something. All right, uh, so Hop Cypher recommends, because I've been, I was complaining early on that I was very tired today, and Hop Cypher suggesting that uh, that good coffee will solve my problem. I am not a fan of coffee. I uh, never really got a taste for it. What's this? Is this the same paper I just had? I have no idea. I'm throwing it. Um, so I can't tell which, oh wait, this room right here on the left. That's the room I need to mess with power. So, uh so thinking about which games I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to link to at the end of this, I'm thinking. Okay, so oh pulling oh pulling the lever is how I report in. Never mind, I don't need to pull the lever now. The doors will open by themselves. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking I should definitely show Frog Climbers because the controls for this game are very similar to Frog Climbers, which is kind of an obscure game but a really good one. Um, oh wait, don't push those yet, dude. No, no, no. Let's push off. I'm trying to get down there. Push. There we go. When your character is upside down, that's actually one of the toughest challenges because then, because your your arm movements are handled the same no matter how you're oriented. Like if you're oriented upside down relative to the camera, then you, all of your all of your movements are inverted. So can I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of push these with my head. What do I? Okay, I need to look. I need to brace. There we go. I said to brace against the wall. Bracing is gonna be the, the skill I need to. No, help. Okay, I might need to like claw my controller a little bit to make this work. Like, cause having access to my legs, and my arms at the same time is very helpful. Grab, no, oh, uh, grab, no, grab, grab, grab. How do I get, get in there? Get in there, yes, we did it. Whew, all right. So now, oh, I can open the manual. Oh, and it's reminding me, okay, I need to find a way into the airlock and then unwind the folded solar panel. Okay, whatever that is, let's... So is this, is this the airlock? Or is this something else? I can't reach the, there. I imagine the airlock would not have such a um, flexible door. This is probably somewhere else. Oh, I could, I'm chilling now. Look at me, just chilling in space. <laughs> Ah, oh, I'm gonna relax. It's fine. <laughs> Attach the tether to your suit by holding it over your belt hook and pressing A. Oh, wow, okay. So this doesn't seem like it's the airlock, because I don't see a door on the other side, but I am curious about this loop. Can I, like, how easy is it to push A? Like, where is my hand? A. A? Nope. Oh, oh come on, come on. I just want to learn how this is done. I know it's not my mission right now. A. There we go. Okay, so now I'm tethered. That's very helpful. Um, for, for something I'm not doing right now. Ooh, I can... I can untether this. I don't know if there's a reason to want that, but... I'm glad I have it. I imagine this is about to like challenge all of my deep horrors about sp like being lost in a in an unending vacuum. All right, so we're in here. Let's um let's close the airlock. No, no, no. No, no, not like that. Okay, let's try to burp. Try to brace against the... Okay, I've got it with my right hand now. So now we're going to... Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah. Brace. Oh, I love how my character's just quivering with the effort. <laughs> okay, apparently that can't be done. Let's see what else is in here. There's a camera. Hey. 
I can take pictures? All right, great. Um, is that a thing I can grab? What's this? I just calculated something, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> this, is, this is weird. Okay. Okay, I want, I want, I want the camera. I wonder if I can belt loop the camera. Uh, oh, nope. Grab the camera and... Nope, I can't belt loop the camera. A does one thing per item. Okay, so... Okay, this thing does not want to be... Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! I've... I've ruined everything. <laughs> all right. All right. No, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm trying to reach over here. Yes. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. Ah! <laughs> Just... <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so we got like a crowbar y looking thing over here. Maybe I is it, wait, is that is that gold? Is this space gold? Why do we have space gold? Okay, so I'm, I I tossed the crowbar in that direction. Because I think I might use it, but I wanna I wanna see what's in these cabinets. Must be something. Must be something good. Come on. Nope, nope. I'm gonna grab something that is. I gotta grab something that is not the door, so that I can brace. Ah. Can I grab the other door and like just part them? There we go. Oh, we've got tennis balls and tennis rackets. Okay. Not what I was hoping for. What about this? What's gonna be in here? Aha! A wrench. That's what I need. I need a wrench. Because there's like a bolt that is this color and an image of a wrench on this broken lever. Okay. We got it done. Now, eh. Oh. Oh, hey. I can like... I can like swim. No. Stop. All right. There we go. Ah. Come on, come on. Ugh. All right, is this is this the airlock? Yes, this looks like the airlock. And this looks like it's a better tether, too. So how about before we blast into space? Well, first, let's close the interior airlock. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> okay, never mind. What? Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, let's open open the stupid airlock. <laughs> uh, come on. There we go. Okay, we're in. Yeah. Okay, so me trying to be clever about this tether was just dumb. Um, it's not helping anything. So I'm just gonna... How do I detach it? A. So let's... Got this rando tether in here. Let's, uh, let's not have it floating near the exit, though. Let's throw that down there. Let's grab this one and connect it. And then... Then... This other tether is trying to come with me. I'm not very interested in that. Hey, hey, you might be useful. Stay, stay in there. It's just going to bounce right back, isn't it? Yeah, I'm totally going to waste that tether. That's going to be sad. It's going to be a sad time. <laughs> I guess, you know what? I've got two belt clips. 
I'm not gonna. No, I don't want to lose my. I'm going the wrong direction. Come here. Ah. There. Got an extra tether now. Don't need it, but I got it. Let's see here. How do I? It's like hand over hand, a little bit, I guess. Swing myself around. Swing myself around. Okay, so it looks like this one is deployed. So... Maybe... Oh, man, trying to remember which hand is which when I'm upside down is rough. Okay, I'm just going back inside the airlock now. Not intentionally. So, uh, John Bon Z Zombie has come in and is asking me a question about State of Decay 3, which, you know, traditionally I can't answer. Uh, but he's saying that particularly there are there are folks out there in sort of the content creator sphere, I guess, surrounding State of Decay, uh, who are saying that State of Decay 3 is going to be an MMO. And he's wondering, he wants confirmation about whether or not that's the case. So I, can't, I cannot give you any details about State of Decay 3, obviously. Um, but... I can tell you that, you know, we also have not given any details to the people who are saying that. Like, they don't know any more than you do. So I don't think you need to worry about what uh, sort of speculation that uh, that people are engaging in, just because no nobody knows anything. So so there's nothing there's nothing that, that folks have sort of discovered that really has any bearing on what we're actually doing. So so if you're nervous about the guesses that people are making, they're only guesses. Yeah, there's no particular reason you need to worry about that. Okay, so I have just... I All I'm d doing is making backwards progress. I'm not getting anywhere. Um, okay, here we go. So, no, no, no. Again, part of it, part of the problem is the fact that I'm upside down. And, like, all of my intuitions about what each of my hands does is, in, is reversed from reality. So, like, I'm using my left... So, okay, so now I'm facing the right direction. Now my intuitions should be better, except I'm still going backwards. So, uh, yeah. All right. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so now I'm connected to this. Good. It's gonna... Now I'm connected to that. Uh, so I'm trying to, like... Okay, how do I... Okay, I, I gotta... I gotta remember, all of my movements are the opposite of... Like, if I want to go down, I need to move my arm up. Okay, no, no, I'm holding my own tether. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so let's... Oh my gosh, I gotta turn a crank? Okay, okay, turning a crank, turning a... Turning a crank, turning a crank, turning a crank. There we go, we got it. Unwind the solar panels. Whew, okay. Huh. <sighs> So, oh, update, report to mission control. Oh, that's how I do that. Okay, great. See so how we just gotta get all the way back in, hopefully without evacuating the entire atmosphere of the, excuse me, I'm trying to get back in, I said. I said I'm getting back in, back in, back in. I said back in. Uh, 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 no, no, but I still want to get near the lever there. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Close the hatch. There we go. All right. Oh, wait, I got to unhook my... Oh, I unhooked the wrong one. Okay, hey, come here. So I'm keeping this one because whatever.
There. Oh. Okay. Now and then, I actually feel like I'm getting better at this, and then, and then I'm reminded that no, I still suck. The next thing that happens, like this. I. Okay. I opened this door like a pro. Cannot figure out how to go through it. Okay, so there. All right. I don't need a crowbar yet. Ah, what the? <laughs> ah, no, not this direction. No, stop. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Oh, oh, starting to tumble in slightly the right turn. No, 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 come here, come here. I'm just floating free. Oh, this would be like my worst nightmare in real life. And again, it's it's the backwardness. Like the fact that I'm frequently upside down and then on top of that, my arms have to like always move in the opposite direction from where I'm trying to go. There, pushed off. It's just like everything Everything turns my head around backwards in different ways at the same time. By the way, Stealthy Assassin just said, um, new State of Decay 3 leak, dating sim confirmed. I mean, that that, that is exactly how a lot of the, the, the quote-unquote leaks and guesses sound to me. It's like, you know, just lots of, lots of conclusions from very, very scanty evidence. But, you know, I mean, I appreciate that people are interested. You know, that's... That's wonderful. Okay, I'm just trying to get my body... So sideways is not the way to go through narrow airlocks, apparently. Who would have thought that? Okay. So now, there we go. I think part of it is the fact that, like, when I'm floating free and I'm trying to move in random directions, like, like trying to take advantage of the fact that they're, doing, that they're using fake physics to try to move myself, I do sort of reach in the direction I want to go. But then when I actually grab something, I need to do the opposite. And so, like, I'm going back and forth between two different orientations, basically, depending on whether I'm holding a jar of mayonnaise or not. Report! Receiving results. Sunlight mission report. Heavenly tips. Enable hand input visual helpers in the control section of the options menu. Okay. All right, so that was our first mission. And now we've got our second mission, which is called Data. That first mission took us about 20 minutes. So I'm wondering if I should actually, like, cut a segment here and just call this video, you know, Mission 1, Sunlight and then move on to mission two data. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me just real quick catch up with the chat, make sure I'm not missing something critical here. So a oh, Tandy lens was getting anxiety that my neck was going to break with some of the weird things that I was doing with my head uh, while I was bouncing around in the level. <laughs> Lily's Apple says this looks too frustrating. It's frustrating, but so far in kind of a funny way, it's, you know, co-op likes like this are always meant to be frustrating to some degree like that's part of the humor and it's it's a very narrow uh sort of path that they're winding like trying to you know they have to they have to stay ride this edge where the frustration is funny without making the frustration too intense and so it's it's a very difficult challenge to take on and some like co-op are designed to just like you play it until you get too frustrated this one i think is meaning to to, to ride the line a little bit better and so we'll have to see how it, how it progresses as time goes on uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think that... Oh, yeah, so uh, Scott Landon says, I'm looking forward to hearing more about The Day Before, that other zombie game, uh, but I think it's years before that will come to console. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of these, uh, you know, you want to announce your game fairly early so people are aware of what you're working on and so people can sort of like start getting excited about it. But yeah, game development, especially in the modern era, it takes so long, uh, especially if you're trying to push the envelope in any direction. You're trying to make something that is, um, you know, newer and better than something that went before. It can be really, really time consuming. And so, yeah, so we're I still feel like, you know, we're pretty early on in the process with State of Decay 3 and people are making all of these guesses about it coming out very soon and being a certain way. And I'm like, None of those guesses are going to be right at this point. 
Uh, so I mean, except except just like a stop clock being being uh, being right twice a day. So don't get excited about any particular you know reveals that you see online or anything like that because nothing is real yet until and until we come to you and say something, which is which is still I think going to be a little while. Let's see here. Oh, Senior Sausage uh, has made his name. Uh, he's spent uh, channel points uh, on my Twitch channel uh, to get his name added to State of Decay. So I actually was going to try at some point today to do a pass through the names of uh, uh, in State of Decay 2. So uh, it might happen today, might happen tomorrow. Either way, though, I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't. I'm not sure which update it would go into. It might. We might be at the stage right now where it would go into the next update, um, but I can't promise you that. It might be two updates away, uh, depending on just which branch we're in and what's going on. So I'm not completely up on that schedule right now, so I can't tell you exactly, but it would be next few months, I guess. Anyway, uh, if you want to have a, ch a shot at uh, sneaking a name into State of Decay 2, uh, you can follow me on Twitch if you're watching this later on YouTube. Uh, if you get channel points, uh, my biggest channel point reward is that you can suggest a name to put into State of Decay 2. Uh, and so, yeah, so I'm planning on doing that for Senior Sausage because he has uh, built up the channel points. And so, yeah, come join us over there. Or you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, which is going to have a button right there on YouTube. And then I'll put links to other Quop likes uh, and maybe to the next Heavenly Bodies video that I'm going to make because I think we're going to go make another one right now.